Needs and Requirements for Conservation Funding Species extinction and ecosystem imbalance is the real threat in the world. According to the long-term development policy of the government of Mongolia, Vision 2050, the following major conservation objectives are proposed and being implemented include designating 30% of the total land area by 2030, then 35% as the protected area, protecting 75% of headwaters of fresh water sources and expanding forested cover to 10.5% of the total land and reaching zero land degradation by 2050. UNDP's report stated that in Mongolia, 44.4% of total financing for the nature conservation sector is provided by the state budget and 55.6% by international organizations. However, as our country's GDP per capita increases and it enters the middle income category, the nature conservation aid provided to Mongolia by international organizations tends to decrease further. Therefore, establishing a permanent funding system for nature conservation is essential in our country. What is a project finance for permanence? In 2020, the Nature Conservancy TNC, World Wildlife Fund WWF, Pew Charitable Trusts, and Zoma Lab have established a joint partnership called Enduring Earth and are working to jointly implement the initiative for Project Finance for Permanence globally. The Project Finance for Permanence for Nature Conservation aims to realistically achieve conservation goals, including improving the necessary policy and legal frameworks and creating permanent financing mechanisms and this is implemented jointly by the governments and donors. This program is successfully implemented in Brazil, Bhutan, some parts of Canada, Colombia, Costa Rica and Peru. Feasibility of implementing the project finance for permanence. Based on the TNC research, the project can be implemented in Mongolia. According to the findings of the research, the following three objectives were defined. Number 1. By 2030, the total land area of Mongolia, designated as the state protected area. Number 2. Until 2035, to improve the management of the state protected areas step by step. Number 3. By 2035, at least the 34 million hectare area of important places for biodiversity conservation will be managed by a community-based natural resource management approach that involves at least 16,000 herder families and it creates a necessarily suitable situation of policy and regulation. Funding needed to implement the program. Based on the research, the predictable estimate to achieve the above objectives is 198 million US dollars over 15 years. Funding can be provided from the following sources. 71 million US dollar from donors, 45 million US dollars by increasing the current funding of the state budget, 82 million US dollar will be provided by the permanent financing program for nature conservation. For Mongolia, the PFPO initiative of project finance for permanence is now successfully implemented in the planning stage.